let's start the class so basically in previous class we talked about cardiac cycle and heart cycle so today we will discuss about cardiac conduction pathway basically like other organs in our body like we have liver stomach intestine so they needed particular time to work but in the body we have some other organs also which will work for all li life okay so like example heart brain brain some parts will take rest when you sleep some part will work continuously for the whole life and lungs lungs works also uh, decrease when you sleep heart work also decrease when you sleep and brain function also decrease when you work when you sleep so basically during sleep every uh, organ whatever organ is there so it will decrease their intensity of work means not whole complete uh, work but some sort of work will decrease on that organ so basically how the heart work continues so we have to know one basic thing is we know that heart will get circulation okay all heart will get blood circulation heart will get oxygen nutrition and other substances which are helpful for its work for its work basically now because is the pumping action heart will pump okay heart will pump continuously how to uh, need energy to send the blood to grasp the blood from all parts of the body so it needs energy so from where that it gets energy so you have to understood that so basically the cardiac cycle we know that it is a mechanical events whatever uh, systolic diastolic will be done by its chambers to send the blood or uh, to receive the blood from all parts of the body so this is the cardiac cycle okay here we will understood that cardiac conduction path how does heart works basic how does heart works so basically the cardiac muscles we know that uh, cardiac muscles myocardial okay so basically it have the ability to contract okay but here no nerve supply is there for contraction okay because heart will generate their own beat and electric impulse okay through the part of myocardium okay this is the conduction path okay this is the conduction path basically we have two electrical impulses two electrical stunts are there or uh, what is done we have pacemakers okay which will produce the energy that is one is sa node and av node and this is the bundle of this the chambers the the bundle of branches of heart so from that the energy generates it will reach to the av node av bundle or av node then from av node to this is the bundle of this this is the percutaneous fibers okay this is the percutaneous fibers this is the sa node av node bundle of this and percutaneous fibers so this is the pathway of conduction of electricity so at the sa node here we we'll talking detail 
the natural pacemaker of heart is SA node. SA node means sinoatrial node. Sinoatrial node. A specialized group of cardiac muscle cells located in the wall of right atrium just below the opening of superior ventricle. The SA node is considered specialized because it has the most rapid rate of contraction, that is, depolarized more rapidly than any other part of the myocardium, 60 to 80 times per minute. As you may recall, depolarization is the rapid entry of sodium ions and reversal of charges on either side of cell membrane. The cell of SA node are more permeable to sodium ions than are other cardiac muscles. Therefore, they depolarize more rapidly than contract and initiate each heartbeat. So basically, this is the SA node which generate electricity. Okay. With the help of this SA node, sinoatrial. So it is the uh, beneath nearby superior ventricle. So basically, this is the superior ventricle. This is the inferior ventricle. So it is beneath the, the superior ventricle in right atrium. So basically, SA node will generate the electricity. First thing we have to remember. Second thing that SA node, when they generate the electricity, the cell membrane open. So basically, this is the cell membrane are closed. Basically, this is the this is the cell membrane closed. So when we are opening with the electricity stimulation, the S, the membrane open and sodium ions enter into the cell. So sodium ions is responsible for the generation of electricity. Sodium and potassium are there inside the cell. So basically sodium will uh, store outside the cell very high amount and potassium store high amount in the cell. Okay. So basically the, from the upper concentration to lower concentration, it is easy to come. So sodiums are outside more so sodium will enter into the potassium uh, into the cell and potassium are inside more so it will rush to go outside okay so basically so when sodium enters so likewise the potassium the positive charges will increase the cell functional capacity so basically when it will it will happen in rapid work rapid phase rapid time okay so then we have from the SA node, the electricity generates and it will reach to the other cells. Okay, then heartbeat starts. So basically, SA node have more electricity generator than other cells of the body. And it will have the ability to beat the heart 60 to 80 times. Okay. So these are the remember. Next we have another node that is AV node. So SA node will generate the impulse and AV node collect the impulse. So when is indicated, it is given the lower interatrial septum. The transmission of impulse from the SA node to the AV node to the rest of the atrial myocardium brings about atrial cystole. So what will happen when sodium, uh, sorry, SA node, SA node, here we have the SA node, it will generate the impulse and the impulse generated is reached to the AV node, atrioventricle node. From that node, the atrial systole will start. Contraction of atrial will start. Okay. So, this is the one thing you have to remember. Next, what will happen? Recall that the fibrous skeleton of the heart separate the atrial myocardium from the ventricle myocardium. The fibrous connective tissue act as an electrical incentive between the two sets of chambers. The only pathway for impulse from the atria to ventricle. Therefore, it is atrioventricle bundle, also called the bundle of his. The AV bundle is Within the upper introventricular septum, it receives impulse from the AV node and transmits them to the right and left bundle branches. So basically, so when AV node receives the impulse, with the help of this, 
atrial systole will happen. From that impulse, it will reach to the bundle of this. This is the bundle of this, which will separate the uh, both ventricles. Okay. Bundle of this, next we have Parkinka fibers, which are connected to the ventricles. Okay, these are the fibers, connective fibers. So from that fibers only the electricity will travel. This is the thing we have to remember. Okay, with the help of that fibers only, the electricity will travel. Okay, so from SA node to AV node, AV node to bundle of his, bundle of his to parking the fibers. Okay, this is the simple thing. Then ventricle systole will happen. When ventricle systole will happen, atrial diastole will happen. When ventricle systole happens, atrial diastole will happen. When this contract, this relax, when this relax, this contract. Okay, this is a combination of Okay, so the electricity reached to the bundle of this to Purkinje fibers. Now, what will happen? From the bundle branches, impulse travel along Purkinje fibers to the rest of the ventricle myocardium and brings about ventricle system. I told you the electrical activity of the atria and ventricle is deprecated by the electrocardiogram. So, what is ECG? Okay, uh, what is ECG? This conduction and generation of impulse okay generation of impulse from sa node and traveling dot impulse to the av node from av node to purkinje fibers bundle of his and then purkinje fibers the contraction of ventricles will happen so contraction of atrium contraction of ventricle relaxation of atrial con relaxation of ventricle so these steps will be recorded by the help of help of electrocardiogram. Okay, so we have the energy, the electricity, or the impulse generated in by the heart is recorded with the help of electrocardiogram. Okay, so is the this is so if any electrical impulse changes are seen, so what will happen? We will record the abnormal ECG. So if this is normal, then we have normal ECG. So at the end of the lecture, I will teach you basic ECG because you have to understand much more about heart. So basically, you can see here you have the wave. This is the wave of the heart, one heartbeat. Okay, this is the complete wave, one wave of heartbeat. Okay. This is the normal heartbeat. This is the P wave, Q wave, R wave, S wave, and T wave. So when this will wave come, when when the where the impulse is there. So if the impulse is here, so we have this type of imp uh, wave is there. When the impulse is here, so we have which this type of impulse is when contraction will happen. So whatever maybe that so we will talk about in coming after the completion of this chapter about ECG. Okay. Yeah. So till now you have, I think you understood what will happen next. Next, what we have to study the abnormalities. Whatever abnormalities will occur in this during this process is also recorded by the ECG. If the SA node does not function properly. The AV node will initiate the heartbeat, but at a slower rate, 50 to 60 beats per minute. So, SA node, here, we have, next thing we have to remember that SA node not alone will produce the impulse. But SA node have more capacity than AV node to produce the impulse. This is the thing we have to remember, first thing. Second thing is that if SA node is not working, any reason is there. Basically, AV node will start functioning by itself, but they have low impulse, low impulse and low polarization. That is 50 to 60 beats per minute. The AV bundle is also capable of generating the beat of ventricle, but at a much lower than 40. 
50 to 40 bits per minute. But this is the for for AV bundle, the heartbeats more decreases. Okay. For atrium, it, uh, it will have uh, less amount of energy in it, so it will produce 40 to 60 bits. But ventricle, it will need more energy for contraction, it will beat only 40, 15 to 40 bits per minute. This may occur in certain kind of heart disease in which transmission of impulse from the atria to ventricle is blocked. So why this is happening? With this we will understand that it is any disturbance in the conduction of the pulse or traveling of the pulse. If this is any block. SAV, SA node is not producing the uh, uh, impulse or AV node not conducting or parking J fibers or bundle out is not producing. What is, what is the reason behind that? Those type of hard bees is known as arrhythmias. Those type of hard bees is known as arrhythmias. Means irregular heart beats. Their effects range from harmless to type of therapy. And everyone experience heart palpitation from time to time. These are usually not serious and may be result of too much caffeine, nicotine, alcohol, much more serious in ventricle fibrillation. A very rapid and uncoordinated ventricle B that is totally effective for pumping blood. So basically, arrhythmia, uh, basically, in some cases, it is not uh, life threatening, but some cases like uh, atrial fibrillation, ventricle fibrillation. In the ventricle, the blood will rapidly will come. So, ventricle will dilate. So, that is the reason the uh, ventricle contract. So, atrial relax, atrial contract, ventricle relax. So, during this process, during this process, what will happen? We will get palpitation, abnormality in the heart. There are different uh, difficulty in some, in some patient difficulty in breathing also because the oxygenated blood is not reaching or improperly reaching to the body. Not properly reaching. So, okay. So let's talk about one thing which that is uh, arrhythmia. Here uh, I think we will discuss in coming classes. No, no need to discuss here. After completion of the all chapter, we'll discuss the boxes. So I think you understood about yes. about conducting cardiac conducting. Okay, cardiac conduction. Any doubts regarding this? So let's talk about heartbeat. What is the what is heartbeat, and what is the normal value of heartbeat? A healthy adult has heart rate pulse of sixty to eighty beats per minute. This is the rate of depolarization of SA node. SA node actually has the slightly faster rate, closer to hundred beats per minute, but is slowed by parasympathetic nerve impulse to what we consider a normal resting rate. A rate less than 60 except of athletics is called bradycardia. To prolong or consider the rate generated in the 100 beats per minute is tachycardia. Yeah. So basically the normal beat of heart. Heart beat means when SA node the one cycle of the heart okay, one cycle of the heart from the SA node to AV node, AV node to bundle of his, bundle of its to the Parking J fibers. Next, again, one impulse, my, my, another impulse is generated by SM. So, this cycle, this uh, contraction of ventricles, relaxation of ventricles, okay, is known as, is known as a uh, hard beat. So, basically, you have 60 to 80 beats per minute, but SSA node have capacity to beat 100. 100 times a minute. So basically, we will consider 60 to 80 is normal. If it is below than 60, what we call, we call bradycardia. This term we have to remember. We call 
bradycardia more than 100 beats per minute is called tachycardia okay called tachycardia but in some cases or in some person from childbirth to old age the heart rate is different from person to person okay. during the when the heart when the child birth the normal rate is 100 to 120 okay in some feet in fetus we have 140 beats per minute okay this you have to remember the different persons have different heart rate according to their work age and uh, body capacity or body weight okay okay so you have to differentiate from person to person and the mouse you know the mouse mouse we have 200 beats per minute elephant about 30 beats per minute he need only 30 beats per minute for normal okay so but in the who is athletics who do exercise regular exercise or uh, basketball player footballer or any person who is sports person their normal beat is 50 per minute okay in some cases who runs uh, runners they have 35 to 40 beats per minute okay so basically uh, why this differentiate is happening because uh, our muscles are becoming stronger when you do exercise when you do exercise our muscles become stronger so that's the reason when your muscles become stronger heart also becomes stronger okay so in one beat it will uh, send that much amount of blood to your muscles which is required so why do you, why do you need extra amount of heartbeat so in the athletic sports person basketball persons uh, cricket uh, players so they are heart beats is around 45 to 60 or 55 because this is because their muscles are much more stronger than normal person if you check your heartbeat i think 70 80 okay because your body is not much more stronger okay and your heart also not much more stronger than the athletic persons okay these are the things we have to remember so i think uh, we conclude here only so basically today i am very late so tomorrow we will start radiology class also okay